Hello everyone and welcome back to part 4 of my Wu Yun Chang series. The previous three parts of this series have been building up to this episode where we are ready for our showdown of Liu Bei. In the previous episode we developed the south of our region, the southwest of the map. We conquered Han Chong. We then took out Ma Chao's forces and recruited his officers all so we can be at this point where we have a secure border, we are allied with Cao Cao, and our only enemy left to us is Liu Bei. Liu Bei has been fighting a slowly losing battle against Cao Cao, much like Sun Quan, who is facing an invasion from both uh, the northeast and from the Jing region. So we are somewhat against the clock here. However, we unlocked a few new toys in the last episode, largely being Ma Chao himself, and Ma Chao is an officer I have rarely ever been able to use on the channel because of where he's situated and how accessible he is, and the reality of the situation being by the time you unlock Ma Chao, often you have no need of him. But in this episode, Ma Chao is going to be the star of our force, and he's going to be leading the fight against Liu Bei. To summarise what makes Ma Chao so good and how I've also enhanced him, he has a fantastic unique tactic that does AoE damage and causes AoE disorder amongst a sort of one tile radius against two weak targets. He has a trait that if he's against two or more units, enemy units that is of course, his stats increase, it's just a flat multiplicative increase. He has the Duelist trait along with a very high strength stat and he has the Double Edge Sword which is Dash and the reason that is a Double Edge Sword is that he is also Reckless so Ma Chao will see a unit and especially if he's in Arrow Formation which is how we'll be using him again a change from how we usually play um, he can run off against the... Uh, basically he can run off without uh, being in range of your forces and he can find himself isolated but he has a few... Um, few traits tactics going for him that make it not not necessarily the end of the world other than that um, we're going to be pairing him with his brother Marde who is um, just a general good all-rounder somewhat low leadership and he's not in good and not as good in this as he is in previous iterations of the series but he Ma Chao and the third sibling Ma Yan Lu have all been given the Asura Formation, which is a tactic you unlock during the trade negotiations with India by gifting them gold repeatedly. We unlocked it about two episodes ago, but I haven't really been able to show off its potential. So this is a tactic which, when chained, can do insane amounts of damage, both to cities and units, and I'm hoping to be able to show off this. But before we launch our assault, there's a few... Um, errands we have to take care of, so to say, and I just want to emphasise how you play this from this point on. You need to funnel all of your gold and troops over to your front line. These areas are completely secure, and you just want to keep sending, especially supplies, now more so than troops, because we have 100,000 troops here ready to attack, but those troops will use a tremendous amount of food, which is what you want to... Uh, avoid running out of and we have plenty of gold which we are also going to make use of our next errand and this is optional but to make things a little easier you want to send a truckload of gold over to Sun Chuan so an alliance can be made with him as once you've taken Jian Ling you will potentially have a border with him though Cao Cao may see to that but it's not very much the case Either way, I'm going to play it safe and ally with Sun Quan. Taking a quick look at the administration, I've switched over to Arrow, and that is because Ma Chao, Ma, Ma, Ma Chao and Ma Yan Lu have Arrow Formation, and my Fish Formation administration policy options are very, very lacking. I've got Goose, which you've made use of, but we are going to be going very heavily on the Arrow Formation for the next few city attacks which is usually not what I recommend, but in this instance I'm going to go with it. I'm going to need to keep the convoys of food heading over to uh, Yang'an, so just to demonstrate that's exactly what we're going to do here, send all the food we can. From Chengdu we're going to very much then do the same. 
Send more food that way. From Zitong. Of course. Food is going to be sent south. And we're just going to keep funneling food into these cities so we can maintain uh, a march effectively. So I am going to pause and resume when we are ready to deploy. Liu Bei is looking like he might be in a little bit of trouble, but I think his very inadequate selection of officers that he's choosing to reinforce the city with will nonetheless be able to defend it, so I think I'm going to use this opportunity to attack. So, first of all we're going to get our main guy, so to say. Sadly, Marde has no experience with cavalry, so we can only use him in fish, which is usually good, but not in this instance. So they're our frontliners. We're also going to send Wu, Wu Yi, Chang Ren. Ah, oh, where are the others? Yao Cho and Wang Fu. There we are. So, Chang Ren is going to be in goose formation. Wu Yi is also going to be in goose formation. Wang Fu in ring. And Yao Chao in tower. Because it's the only, infor inf only formation he has. So these two units are ministrants. So they act as a, 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 a buffer to Ma Chao. I'm sure if you've seen any of my videos. I've talked about ministrants before. They act as friends of the officers. Which gives you a stat buff. And the way I like to play this game. Is make the absolute most I can of the and stats available so what I am going to do not to completely empty the city and Jiang Ren of course is used for his steel general to buff the defense of Ma Chao, Ma Yunlu and Ma Dei so they can take some damage from the city and of course um, one of the benefits will be being able to you know, move very quickly with our cavalry so, Ma Chao, he's going to lead the way, he's going to, in fact, I'm going to have him go towards the port, and then back here, cavalry officer number two, the sister, going to have her simply uh, march onto the other neighbouring core, I think, again, Cao Cao isn't going to be able to take the city, so I'm just going to sort of build up around here, and I'll just sort of have these other officers sat in formation, around here, ready to begin the assault. And because we have a lot of content to cover in this episode, I am going to skip ahead so to closer to when we're in formation. Okay, we are gifting Sun Chuan so much gold, we are now best friends. Oh, I almost forgot one very important thing as well, on that note. Sao Sao, our alliance is running short, so we want to renew that for another 12 minutes, which should give us time to eliminate Liu Bei. And at the same time, we're going to do the same thing with Sun Chuan, the two year know? alliance. Xu Huang was just killed by Guan Yu and Zhao Yun. I don't know if I caught that in time. But... Kill, killed. Happened. Oh, I see, I see. He's... God, the game works in ridiculous ways sometimes. Well, that can happen occasionally. However, what I've also noticed, noticed is that... Liu Bei is coming from my port instead of reinforcing the city, so we're going to take a slight detour. And just defend our city. Here comes my renewed alliance with Sao Sao. Now Wang Yi, who I just sent on the alliance, we've only recently recruited her, but she's an officer where we could um, use her to um, marry off to one of my officers to act as an administrant to them specifically. And also what I'm doing here, because the, uh, the AI has decided they want to... Have I not got another train engineers? 
Oh, gee, I saw a thought. Okay. Um, I guess we're just gonna cut him off. Watch it. Hmm. Hmm. Daft, but there we are. We're going for a minor naval battle. It looks oh. like. Unless we just ignore, no, I'll tell you what, we're just going to ignore him. We don't need to get involved with this. We've got plenty of troops in the city and reinforcements on the way, so let him, let him come. And there's the Alliance of Sunshine. So we are completely secure now. From the moment we take out the Ube. Oh, Chayan Ling is looking weak. However, it doesn't matter if there's 2,000 or 200 troops in this city, if Sao Tso can't get through, he's not going to be able to pose a threat. <laughs> Speaking of that, um, we have, so we said we still have, no, ample forces here. Just send those guys down to uh, take out the invaders. Sao Sao wants another one of my cities or areas, which you will always decline. On the topic of death, I want to comment actually how it is currently the year 215 and the closer you get to 220, you reach the point where officers start dropping like flies. So that's something to bear in mind. That is the second clock we're on and that clock is the clock of when we conquer Liu Bei, how long will we have left of his officers? Oh, it's actually getting quite close. Okay, okay, so what we're going to do, we are just going to snipe the city. I was hoping to make a show of conquering it normally, but Sao Sao is making this too close to really play with. So. And there goes the invade's adopted son. Sure. Imbecile. Oh, no, 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 oh, I didn't... Did I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, so we need to get Ma Chao in there. It's going to be very close. It's going to be very close. Come on, come on. There we go. 3,000 damage to the city. I just want to point out there from one unchained tactic. So, Guan Jing and Zhang Fei, two good officers to capture. And I think that gives us their weapons as well. So we will move everyone inside. I've naturally we've taken no casualties taking that city because Sao Sao did all the hard work. And I think we'll ask Sao Sao to also give us the port. And I'll have Fei Yi do it. 8,000 gold. 10,000 gold. 12,000 gold. Ah, oh, come on. 14,000. There we are. Spend all of our gold, but we will buy that port. And of course, there is more gold to come. In fact, there's 22,000 on the way to Zetong, which will transfer over to our capital. Again, we're in a position where we've got more gold than capable of spending and we make topics speaking of which we've got a fantastic exchange rate we can buy more supplies do we have a no okay so we are going to then no okay send some food down here Along with that, we are also going to send over our domestic officers to then build up Jainling. Okay, 
again, completely daft, but that's just how the AI likes to play sometimes. So, we have acquired the Seven Star Sword. Not the weapon I was expecting to see, but we're going to give that to Marcia, regardless. Uh, we also have the Serpent Blade, which... If you are going to pay play this one for the uh, long term, then you will want to give this to uh, Jang Fei or Guan Yu when you acquire them. But as of right now, I think I'll give this to Chang Ren. Yes. And I think because he's going to be chaining tactics as well, I'll give one to Rui. Yeah. Merchant's gone, so we're not buying any more food for now. I will resume when we are ready to go for one of these two cities. We've acquired one of Sao Sao's prisoners by mistake, and we're just going to hire him because why not? If he's going to be in our city, we are going to take control of him. Now, if I was playing this for the long term, I'd probably use more of my gold to buy these areas, but because I'm not, I am just going to continue on with the assault when our food arrives, of course, which we need much more of. So we're going to buy as much as we can. Food, supplies, off you go. We found another plus five strength item, so we could give that, for example, to Pang Day, who is. Okay, so 7,000 gold. Maybe I can get some food. 40. Ah, okay, never mind. Should have gone for 30 perhaps. Ah, and he's real escapes. Never mind, I got greedy. Or your shipping gone. But anyway, that item we found. So a good candidate for it, of course, is an officer who's going to be doing tactic damage and getting duels. So we've got Menhua potentially, Uyan, we've got Yan Yan, but I think I'll give it to Panda to round his strength off at 100. Because he also has the tactic that gets him involved in duels. So where are you, Panda? Yeah, young Ann. So I'll move Panda over, and I think I'll also transfer over, say, Yan Yan, now that this, there's no front line here. Ba Cheng, Meng Huo, Meng Da, Li Yan, these guys. And perhaps too wrong. Yes. So we're going to go for Wu Ling first rather than Chang Shan. No particular reason. We do have to be nearly two to one. However, we do have to get across the channel first. I will bother with that. We've got Sao Sao here trying to snipe the port and not only are they trying, they're actually going to accomplish it, I am sure, because they have the boat technology that I do not. So that is really annoying. But there's not a lot we can do about that, sadly. Oh dear, they're running out of food. Okay, okay, out comes Zhuge Liang himself. <sighs> In the ideal formation. So Chang Ren can move along. You can get on to the port. And you can get along to snipe him. That would be very nice. You can just sit and stand at yeah. right, the both of you can just sort of sit in the water. I 
And let's see if I can get Marde in range to use one of his tactics. There we are. Okay, here comes Huang Chong. 2,500 assault. And 1,000 defense. He is going to do a bit of damage. So I slow this down. 800 a tick, perhaps? 900 a tick. There we are. Even more than expected. So, Marde needs to... Absolutely ruined everything for us. Of course, Ma Chao can now come reinforce. But we have lost such a huge amount of our army from Wang Chong's very valiant defense. Just move along, move along. Looks like we have someone new to potentially hire in the new year. If Ma Dei can get over there, we might be able to obliterate Wong Chong. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, never mind, this is going to... This isn't going to go well. Wong Chong beating up on young women. Not good. Oh, Wang Ping. Mountain unit. A bit late, so it's not okay. No chain tactic. Okay, we've got him captured, that's decent. And now come Sun Shang Xiang and Ma Su and Jiang Wang, all in crane formation. Okay. So you move back there, you move over here, you get over there, and march out, just do your thing, get over there as quickly as possible. So these aren't the most threatening, threatening of units because they're in crane formation. See them doing a huge amount of damage. So that was a blessing. Marte getting a duel. And now it's our turn to. Uh... No, no, never mind, never mind. No turn for retribution. Okay, Marcho then. Okay, okay. We can recover from this if we play it very carefully. Whether we still have the troops to assault the city, however. Maybe. Oh no. Okay, we definitely do not. We are definitely going to need reinforcements. So, this is what you do you keep the supply train going. As you can see, we're still at 40,000 troops in Jianling, so we can afford to um, retreat and redeploy, even if it is quite costly on supplies, and it sets us back a bit. Okay, now we go. Okay, now. If I can get a chain tactic here... 6,000 troops she has, and I am going to do how much damage? 6,000. There we are, obliterated. And now Marchau is going to get back in position once again. Sure, so he's going to keep giving me gold. Someone in the comments of the last video, or the video before that, um, suggested you need a border with a faction for it to surrender to you. Okay. Guan Lu gives a random officer life expectancy increase if they're likely to die soon. However, it is completely random, and that is of no benefit at all, as having that random Liang province officer. 
So just to test that out, so Shirsi, he's trusted, will he surrender? No, he will not, largely because we don't have a board with him, I suspect. No, of course, I haven't chosen to build either of those provinces up. Uh, I am a little bit of a lunatic deciding to do this. I think Ma Yanlu will retreat. And the others will stay. Uh, can we hire anyone? Hmm. It's looking like he may actually join us with a little bit of badging. Hmm. Okay, so in turn, where our morales are low, but we can't set up a music tower. Yes, we can. We'll just change advisor. We don't need 100 intelligence for now, so next turn we can build a music tower and get all our morale back up to full. Which gives Marde a bit more strength, as you see, he's only got 800 assault at the moment, which isn't what you want, really. And I think the issue is we only have one su surrounding supporting core at the moment in this area. Yeah. So maybe we send over... <sighs> do you have arrow formation? Yes, you do. Maybe these two. And we can carry out the same plan. So now, get the arrow, that music tower up. And just slowly move everyone into position. That being said, Ma Chao will dart off if he sees someone deploy. But we haven't got the troops to just march on the city recklessly. Another uh, instance of finding Guan Lu, this time in Tian Shui. It'll be interesting to see whose lifespan he decides to uh, regenerate. Oh no, I'm not giving them Huang Chao. We've seen what he could do to us by himself. He, he's not having him back. Good. Music towers there. So once you've built what you need to build, don't forget to switch over back to your uh, high intelligence strategist or perhaps somebody else that you might want to use. For example, counter-attack damage, development, recruitment of troops where you need it, transportation where you need it. You can even go, for example, better siege weapons. There's you know, always options. Sure, see, wants an alliance. He's going to give us a fair amount of gold for it. How? How about forty thousand food? Ah, oh, that's a shame. But we're building a camp as well to get that defence up, as you can see. Well, I stand corrected in terms of our stats being generally bad. You can see Ma Chao has only one supporting core, and. Um, 2,000 assault and 1,000 defence, that's not, um, that's not terrible. <laughs> Certainly isn't. And I think Ma Yun Lu's made it back into the city, so I'm going to have a redeploy. Maybe along with Panda. So I'll have Panda use his unique tactic and Ma Yun Lu can use hers. So back there we go. We're playing it slow just because of how powerful Liu Bei's officers are and if Liu Bei at any point decides to deploy to attack us I'll be able to demonstrate that. Though he may not even decide to do that based on how fragile he is. Oh, seeing he's fragile, he does still... Well, he's emptied Ling Ling to support Wu Ling, and... Oh yeah, Chai Sang fell to South Sao at some point. So he hasn't got that many troops left at all, apart from Meng Guiyang. 
to this. Ooh. Oh, okay. Sao Sao really is um, making his move. So this may be the big battle against Sao Sao. So I'm going to edge forward ever so slightly in case it does persuade Liu Bei to deploy. Sometimes even moving one tile forward makes the AI realise it's being attacked and then it'll deploy for you. If not, I'm happy to take Chong and use that to reinforce me. And look at that, we part one of Guan Yu's sons. Not terribly loyal of him. And Cao Cao wants something again for nothing. Tell you what, he wants whatever the hell Bay Day is. How about this? <laughs> Man, how can he expect to have one of my areas but not give one back in return? I mean, Bay Day is probably, yeah, that's even naturally ours. Cao Cao's AI just likes being unreasonable with what it asks for. Okay, so we are now as strong a position as we can expect to get, really. Okay, so again. I'm not going to wedge forward, I am going to wait for the others to get here. And then we'll go for an assault on the city. Hmm, is it going to be weaker than he was before? Chengdu is now a large city, perhaps? Ah, oh, promotion. Grand Minister. Just because I've probably conquered a certain part of the map. Does this give me another? Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. So who do I want to give this to? Changren, Menhua, Jurong. Ma Yuan Lu, which is an unconventional choice, as she's the weakest of, of the bunch. But... It does give me another chance to get that Ma Chow chain tactic that I'm after. So when she gets there in position, we are going to march on the city. And hopefully be able to demonstrate some big damage. Okay, here we go. And it doesn't look like Liu Bei is coming out to meet us. So how I am going to respond to that... Just so you can see, 31,000 troops in the city. Here you go, Ma Chow. Nice 9,000 damage. Not shabby. That's all. Not shabby at all, really. So, we have another tactic available. Is he going to deploy now? No. So, a sewer formation. Nah, then we did 2,000. As you can see, we've melted, we've melted half the troops in the city. And even if we're taking more damage than we usually would... We did um, take it relatively safely. And okay, I'm out of food again. I forgot to keep up with the transportation. So this is going to hurt a little, but if we take the city, that problem will go away. And Liu Bei's left it too late to deploy against us. Terribly disappointing, but here we go. This should... Yeah, Liu Bei wants... Who does he want back? No. He wants his wife and one of his best officers back. 13,000 damage to the city. Bit, you know, overkill. Oh yeah, she's so good. She's still fully loyal. That's incredible. But that's one city down. So what we do from here, move everyone inside. If there's excess gold, which there usually is, we see if there's any... Oh, okay, not, 
We don't um, we don't buy food for that amount. Well, we move everyone inside. Once the okay, yeah. So we get some more food sent over. Can we get some troops sent over? Yeah, that should be okay. And we keep the supplies going. We also want a few famous officers sent over to help us with the development of the area. And next will be Ling Ling. A few somewhat lo lower loyalty officers we can look to pick up. Not all of them. But one or two may join us. As we can see here are the very loyal <laughs> Mi Fang. I see if he'll betray Liu Bei. Of course he will. Let's see if Xie Xi will pay for this alliance with food. And he will. Brilliant. So this gives us more food to be able to transport over to Wu Ling. Which will keep the war machine going. Oh, and I said uh, just now <laughs> Ling Ling will be next, but I think I'll go for Chang Sha to cut off Cao Cao's possibility of taking out Liu Bei. Well, Liu Bei looks like he's fighting a little war with Sun Chuan in the south, which is... <sighs> yeah, what can I say? Um, not his best use of troops and resources at this very moment. That's it. We've hit the jackpot in Wu Ling. 80 supplies for 10 gold, and we have quite a large stockpile of gold, so if we spend all of it... Oh, we can't even spend all of it. This is divine intervention. Look at that. Yeah, you we now have all the, all the food we need in Wuling to finish off our fight against Liu Bei. It will take some time to cross Changsha because of how slow we move across water. But, oh, do I go for Changsha first? No, it might generally be easier to go across the mountains. Okay, in which case we're going to have a slight change of policy. We're going to get rid of Arrow. And we're going to a point. Is that all we've got for Snake? Oh. Well, I thought we had better administration than that for Snake. We're going to appoint Snake anyway. Because a fair few of our officers are quite competent at fighting in snake formation. In fact, Menghuo, Jurong, Ma Chao, and uh, For snake where we can, which isn't always going to be an option, I'm aware of, sadly. Uh, these two, I think I still want in that goose formation. Just for the backline threat. And again, we're outnumber Liu Bei two to one, so odds are he will not choose to deploy against us, but if he does, we should be more than equipped to handle it. Cao Cao wants us to attack Changsha. Ah, oh, there's no reason to accept. We'll attack Changsha anyway, but our alliance with Cao Cao is only as useful as um, the time it takes for us to take these three provinces. Taking things very slow, looping around the Ling Ling, waiting for either Liu Bei to deploy, or for the surround and conquer to activate, so that uh, we don't lose too many troops in the assault, and we don't need to worry about um, 
reinforcing before attacking Hui Yang, because I think this is where Zhao Yun and a few of Liu Bei's more talented officers are. The game has just advised me I only have one more month left of my Cao Cao Alliance, so I'm going to send Wang Yi to get another six months, as I don't think we'll need a full 12 months, though I could of course be wrong with that. And on which note, we are very, very close to being in position to attack Liu Bei, and like with Hui Yang, he is choosing not to deploy against us. So all I have to do is move very so slowly across the mountains, approach the city and wait for Panda and Mengua to uh, cut up and surround Liu Bei city. Okay, I just noticed there Liu Bei might be coming for Panda. Might. But I'll move him into the forest just in case and Panda might be able to fight them off. Xu Jing, where are you? Oh look, there's the Surround and Conquer. We are so nearly there. So as long as Panda can hold out for Against an archer unit, I think he'd probably actually win in the forest, as long as he can hold out. We should be okay. And there's our alliance with Sao Sao. And here he comes. No, no, he's actually retreating. So he's probably going to get hit by the surrounding conqueror before he manages to retreat. So maybe we chase after him. I could, of course, be wrong. But... I don't think that will be the so we better oh, make a march on the city. Okay, so let's turn. He's not getting out anytime soon. Let's so, this is where we just highlight everyone, tell them to attack, have them the ministrants, which we ask to get into careful position. And we see if Liu Bei's decided now that we're surrounded, we're going to attack the city. I don't think he will, but. Okay. Not bad at all. And again, in the mountains. Pretty defensive, pretty strong. March out is 1500 defense. Oh. What's going on there? 8,000 damage. 8, damage. Better than any siege weapon. Look at all of those officers. We've got Paul Mugba, soon to be Prime Minister of Shu, Jiang Wan, Ma Su, Zhuge Liang's apprentice, Mi Chu, Liu Bei's brother in law, Liu Xian, I think is. Is that not Liu Jiang's son? No, Liu Du's son. Old man of Shu, Liu Hua, Jiang Fei's son. Oh, and a mixture of officers. Well, any of them join me? Probably not, no. Officers tend to be quite loyal to the UBA, I've noticed if they're. Oh! Spoke too soon. There we are. So, Panda can now retreat back into the city. We move everyone in. How is our food situation bad? So, like we've done before. Get that food put into the place it needs to be. And uh, along with the troops it needs. We didn't lose too many, so that would be 40,000. We don't even need that many. Eight. And I'll resume when it's time for the next city. 
Liu Bei wants some of his officers back, so I'm going to ask him for this somewhat awkward to reach region and see if he agrees. And he does. And I think this might be the turn of the year. What you're shipping got? January 1, uh, sorry, 218, no, 217. So we are getting closer and closer to that 220 mark where Guan Yu dies, Cao Cao dies, Zhang Fei dies, Liu Bei dies, all within like two or three years, of course. Guang Zhang dies, Gan Ning dies, all the sort of heroes of the early, but well, pre Three Kingdoms period, technically, they all seem to uh, drop off like flies at that point. Now, Liu Bei, will you surrender? No, you will not. I think that's um, not too much of a surprise. He's not a force that surrenders terribly easily. Other than that, we are ready to launch yet again. Just need to get some more supplies over to Ling Ling. And we do, well, we'll deploy the uh, Snake Formation Army like we've seen previously. Okay, we have somewhat of a battle. A lot of non man units are spawning and. Huh. Well, I say a battle, they're not Liu Bei's best. He must be deploying for me as I've emptied the city, perhaps? Uh, either way, I think he's. Um, doesn't really know what he's doing if he thinks attacking me is a good idea. Wutubu. A lot of these sort of non man officers I don't spawn until much later on. And Sao Sao, I will not attack Changsha. I am attacking Gui Yang. Oh, Man Guo's gone at it, he's doing his reckless charge. So we'll ma march out. And he's actually in the mountains, so he's. Or is it a forest tile? Oh, even better, he's in the woods, so his non man traits are kicking off. He's at full strength. He can hold his ground against these two, no problem at all. The legendary Dong Tuna. Okay. So I think I'll do Radiant Thrust this time. We don't get to see that tactic too often. He's Confused. Finally confusing. Now he's set the woods on fire, which of course is one of the better ways to handle woods. And ah, oh, another non-relevantly Liang <laughs> province officer has had his lifespan expense extended. So you need to obviously get out of the woods. What's it? It's not going perfectly, but it's going well enough. Ah, okay. The event which lets um, Ganning and Ling Tong become friends is fired. Hmm. Might as well activate that in case I want to use Ganning and. Oh, wow, look at that. Jian Yi is fallen. He actually made it across, and now Wu is going to fall as well, quite possibly. And Deng Ai, we don't see you often because it's a later start date. There's Deng Ai in all his glory. Fun officer to use. And, okay, Liu Bei, are you going to attack me and let... Ah, you are. I'm not even going to finish that. You are going to attack me and let... Um, Sao Sao take Zolba. wheeling. We'll be okay. Hit another Guan Lu in Tian Shui. Ma Chao gets a duel and Ma Chao will obliterate this chap with his 100 and strength. Captured? No. Oh. 
And there goes the um, grunt of Liu Bei's army in Guiying. So Li Yuan, yeah, Li Yan's son that came of age is also a supplier, which is very helpful. Do I need more supplies? No. No. Oh, okay, yes we do. We certainly do. We'll be able to defend against Guan Yu and Zhang Fei if they come for us. Just about. Same strategy as before. Pang De on the flank, because he has a lot more manoeuvre in the mountain, because I've kept him at 3,000 troops, so Courageous activates, which buffs all of his stats. So, Pang De going around, Ma Chao, sorry, Ma Chao Menghua and Zhu Rong going around, and Ma Chao will be attacking the city directly with Ma Dei and his sister Ma Yuan Lu. With, of course, Zhang Ren and Wu Yi following up in reserve. I'm really glad in this series I managed to make the most of Zhang Ren and Wu Yi because they're such great supportive officers and it's not very flashy, but they really do um, make a difference. And Ma Chao, in fact, is also an officer that really shines in these mountainous terrain. I mean, look at that 1400 defense. And we haven't even surrounded the place yet. How is. Okay, Liu Bei does appear to be going for us for hiring some of his spare officers. I'm really hoping he sees sense and turns around and doesn't let Cao Cao finish him off. Because that would be the kind of spiteful thing <laughs> Liu Bei would do. Well, Liu Bei's AI anyway. So this might take a few more turns, but I... Well, like before, I just don't think Liu Bei's going to deploy. His AI doesn't seem that way inclined. Okay, I was completely wrong in the sense that Liu Bei is deploying, but he's deploying to cut off Panda to ruin my surround. I think. However, this isn't going to work. I just stolen Chang Fei's son as well. That's quite fitting. Both, both um, Liu Guan Yu and Chang Fei have had us had their sons defect. Okay, we're we going to get a chain here. I don't really need it to be honest. Naturally, because I don't need it, I get it. And it's going to do how much damage? Ten thousand, six thousand. So even though Pangda is about to get cut off. He can hold off a little bit because he has the trait indefatigable. <laughs> so you can, you can survive. And because it's mountainous terrain, they're very slow to cut me off as well. To me. So. If and De holds his ground there against Yang Yi and Zhu Ge Liang, who are friends, I believe. Yang Yi the very useful transporter, because he has 50, contriver and transporter, so he's one of the best transporters in the game. If you're looking to conserve food, and he's of course friends with Zhu Ge Liang, so he's not too bad to use alongside Zhu Ge. But I am just going to edge everyone forward now as we are all but ready to make a move on the city. Come on, Panda, I believe in you. Oh no, Yang Yi, you're going to cut him off. You're going to move there, aren't you? Yes, you are. So let's see if we can take the city and rescue Panda before he falls. Unlikely, but not impossible. Okay, we're at the city. Panda's confused. He's not going to last as long as I want him to. Move in there. Hmm, Yang Yi's actually going for me. Interesting. Well, when the city falls, he's going to lose all supply and we'll capture him then. Okay, see how big damage, big damage. Yep, 8,900. Brilliant. Um, yeah, sure. We'll attack Changsha. 
And we saved Banga. Two Bill yeah, he's doing okay. He's gonna retreat. Is he gonna retreat? Is he gonna get out? And it didn't make it out. So we have seven Jing all but secured. So if I say chase after Zhuge Liang, move into the city. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, Liu Bei did do what I was worried he was going to do, and that was give his city away to try and spite me. Now he's in a Xinyi position where Cao Cao sending over Deng Ai with 20,000 troops is looking ready to strike. There goes Zhuge Liang, not captured unfortunately, but then he does have his chariot, which I think gives him the ability to escape capture. Okay. Okay, I did not notice that. I should have gone for a 12 month alliance. I did not. And subsequently, we are now in danger. Can Cao Cao become hostile with us in two turns? I don't think he can, but. We need another six months in order to finish Liu Bei off, apparently. That's, um, that's quite appalling. Speaking of appalling, God, let this be a good exchange rate for food. No, it is not. So, I think we're going to have to about the food here and. I've got the means. Yeah, I kind of do. Have you got a better exchange rate on food? Okay, you kind of do as well. So we'll transport all of our food over, most of our troops, leaving some in place in case Shirsi decides he wants to go to war with us. Move everyone into Guiyang and immediately we'll launch for Changsha. And in fact, when I say immediately, Ma Chao, Ma Dei, Ma Yang Lu, they are leaving now in arrow formation where applicable. We are going for the city. Meng Huo and Chu Rong, you haven't you don't even need to go back into the city, you're going for that forest there. We're just going to completely divert our attack towards Liu Bei. So we have Guan Yu here. And he's going to be going up against Deng Ai. And you know what, I think Deng Ai will not win that one because of Guan Yu doing Guan Yu things, but it should give us the opportunity to effectively get in position. Do I have troops? Free, free, free. Yes, I do. Making, do some, making use of what we have while also trying not to spend too much food, which we don't have. Or we won't have anyway for about four, four turns, maybe five. And there's our alliance with Cao Cao. We benefited from the attack city bug, where if, you're, if you've confirmed that you'll attack a city and your alliance ends before the attack happens, you immediately get a huge amount of relation boost. Ah, oh, we're already running out of food. But he will get there just about in time, probably. Go on. <laughs> and Deng Ai's made it straight for Changsha and confused it. But Guan Yu, I think, is likely to surround the city. 
Now our alliance of Shirsi is over, will he surrender to us now? No he will not. Liu Bei? No he will not. Hmm. Now these guys aren't going to be particularly strong outside of the mountains and the forest, so I have to be careful when using them. Sure, okay, this is going to be very, very close. I may even take a hit, but I should be just about okay. Oh, there we go. Full strength Xiao Yun and Guan Yu. Deng Ai is going to be obliterated. Now, we must take the city while Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are either inside Zhang Sha or captured, because otherwise they will simply relocate to go join Sun Quan, or even the Sak Sak, which would be cursed. What does Wei want? Please attack Chang Sha. Well, no reason not to say to say no to that plan anyway. And the question is, will Guan Yu and Chang Wei come for us now? What's it? I certainly hope they will. Okay, so they're just stood there stationary. They haven't really got any support in calls around Changsha, so it's a very, very easy, easy city to attack because it simply doesn't have any supporting areas. And if I wanted to, for example, I could send. Hmm, have I got anyone? Arrow. I won't get there in time. Well, I can't do surround and conquer. However, I can take back that area. Yan Yan. Send them over there. Get you 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 Get you there. 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 Get Speaking of which, okay. Hmm. I don't really want an alliance of. Ah, uh, why are you doing that, Mobile? Okay, I understand why you're doing that, March out. Good, there's Zhang Fei dead at least. Meng Huo won't be able to really go toe to toe with Guan Yu, so I'll send Zhu Rong out. And hope after he's killed the husband and wife combo, he comes for us. So isn't that threatening by himself? Ah, oh, Ma Chao. Ah, oh, Ma Chao. Why have you gone into the fire? Okay, that ruins everything. That ruins everything. We fell victim to Guan Yu's fire attack, which is absolutely obliterated. Hmm. 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 Well, there's a twist and a half. They have to try and win this without Ma Chao. We've got enough troops in there? Yes, we do. Okay, never mind. Wait for March out to return. Is he going back into the city? No, he's not going to, is he? Well, on you. Look, you've got 
Way coming. Watch out for Way. 30,000 oh, troops. Ignore us. We're not the threat. Those guys over there are. Are you back there yet? Okay, you're probably wounded, yes. But still, wounded march out. Has plenty of strength. And I think Guan Yu can hold that long enough to defend. There we go. Such a sea will surrender. Anyway, I was going to say, I think Guan Yu can defend the city long enough. As long as he doesn't charge out at me, which is easy. Ah. And then he gets in the door. Mayan Luke. They love beating up a Mayan Luke. Okay, Sir Reformation. There's Guan Yu dead, and at what cost? Possibly Chang Sha. So move back into the forest. Wait one more turn. And we'll just have to monitor this carefully because this is the crux of the campaign. This is what we've been playing for. This city, those four tier officers. And it is falling quite rapidly. Be. Okay, we're going to have to more reinforcements. So Marchow is not going to make... Yes, he is. There he is, Marchow. Ah, there we are. Okay, sure, see, he's going to surrender. Brilliant. Oh, and that gives us our naval officer. Oh, okay, this is really, really, really good. So, sure, see, what does he do for us? Well, he gives us a navy. At least the first step of a navy. I mean, how much intelligence do you even have, Shirsi, at the moment? Where are you? 78, so 88 if I can give you the intelligence item. Not enough to get 100 intelligence yet. But that shouldn't be an issue anymore. So everyone get in position. And this really is it. So I'm going to slow this down now. When it gets down to 2,000 troops, Ma Chow is going to go for the killing boy. That's not your ability, is it? No. This is on the knife's edge. 2,200. One more. One more hit. There we are. <laughs> Just like you wanted, Cao Cao, we have conquered Changsha. <laughs> Thank you, Guan Yu. Hugo, Young, and Chow Yun haven't joined us. Leave us Pang Tong and Liu Bei. But they'll come shortly. So that is Liu Bei conquered. The war of this scenario. Which is effectively Liu Bei's invasion of Shu province with a little bit of help from Cao Cao has been won. We've now split the map 60-40 it feels like. 
there's a little bit of a, a rump sensuen uh, buffer state however he will probably not survive much too long I don't think how how long have we even got left of our alliance sensuen oh look at that sensuen will surrender to us too okay so I am not going to continue much further beyond this point but what I will do I'm going to hire the officers and ah oh, look at that two months left of the alliance this is perfect I'm going to hire all of the officers and I'm going to sort of demonstrate the sort of the kind of army I'll deploy it's going to be very similar to what um, we used in the Liu Biao video and in fact once you've conquered Liu Bei's forces you effectively become Liu Bei's force with a few additions that is Ma Chao uh, that is Chang Ren and yeah basically that's it so I will um, pause and resume in um, about a month perhaps okay this might interrupt what I wanted to show off slightly Sun Chuan wants an alliance to sort of reject our relationship so when Pei Yi arrives Sun Chen may not agree to the alliance we'll have to see it'll be close I have, however, hired all of the Liu Bei's officers, so I will instead, be able to really show what you can do with Liu Bei shortly. So here we go. Step two of the plan, will he surrender? There we are. So Sun Chuan has given up. And this just about saves the city that South Cao was going to take as it's now ours and for the remainder of one month we are allied so I will be back once again in one more minute not quite ready for setup yet but our alliance has ended and that has lowered my reputation for some reason I possibly had an officer out in Wei territory. No, maybe Wei had an officer out in my territory. It works both ways after all. There's a slight bug, and this is a so incredibly annoying bug, where officers that were in prison at the time of Sun Chuen surrendering have become unaffiliated, which means Ling Tong is not going to be able to um, join us. That ruins slightly one of the armies I was setting up, but I'll... Uh, I'll cut back and when I've found an alternative. So, using an amalgamation of Liu Bei and Zhang, uh, Liu Zhang's forces, I just want to point out um, what you are looking here, if it's confusion, is the immense synergy Lian has, thanks to the um, Sworn Brotherhood who created him, along with picking up Liu Bei and Zhu Geliang. So, Liu Bei and Zhu Geliang are both confidants of Lian. And then, of course, says Meng Da, who was already a confidant of Li Yan. We have Chang Ren, who uh, we swore a brotherhood with. Yan Yan, that we swore a brotherhood with. And what this effectively creates is an officer that has immense front white front line potential. In fact, it looks like uh, another one that does very well with this group is Zhang Fei. So we may very well throw uh, Zhang Fei in there as well as a, a front liner. So I'll get this army out in the field and then I will demonstrate uh, how exactly it will be working to our advantage. And with a very large army of um, Wei troops on the way led by the very formidable Sima Yi, I figured we'll get the chance to deploy the Wu army. So while we've seen the Li Yan army in Central Jing get deployed, Oh yes, I want to point out as well, one recommendation I have is to give the life extension item, which is currently with uh, Fa Cheng. Oh, it's going to hurt his loyalty quite a bit, but, you know, that can't be helped. Give this to Wu Meng, not because we want him as our main strategist, we, in fact, don't. And Wu Meng, being at 100 intelligence, doesn't really help us all that great deal, all that much. But Wu Meng is the sort of central pillar of the units and the officers you have working for um, working for the Wu side of the army. And when Wu Meng dies, it sort of breaks the sort of links, links of confidence. And we have already lost, unfortunately. Um, 
Amazing. We have already lost uh, Lin Tong, who is undoubtedly going to go join the way. So at this point, I'll get up quickly, I'm just going to sort out the titles and then I'll be right back. So what we have here is a very basic and bare boat, unfortunately, because of the amount of troops I have, Wu Army. When I was referring to it being built around Lu Mang, once I go back to the previous... Oh, never mind. Once I go back to this screen here... Oh, let's send you. I need another very good officer who has a good tactic, is consi worth considering using. But we haven't got the troops for it at the moment. So once we go to this screen here and we look at the links, you can see Wu Mang has a confidant link with all but well, pretty much all of them. Apart from uh, Sun Chi or Wu Lian Chi because he's not married to either of those officers. However, Wu Lian Chi benefits Lu Xun quite well. Overall, I think he's Sun Chi out here too. He works with quite a few of them. Surprisingly, he has a link with Sun Chi as well. They must be related by blood in some capacity. But you could, this is, um, you know, this is the Lu Mang army. Even with only a thousand troops as we deploy him. Mm -hmm. I would usually use disorder, but um, unfortunately, I don't think that's really going to be a viable option. Fire arrows. Yep, yeah, sure. So since Sima Yi is coming with 2, 20,000 troops, this may not work but I am going to try and make it work regardless. So Ganning on the one flank, Wu Su on the other. Wu Mang there. Sun Jai out here. And then Sun Shi. With some foresight, I would have um, well, appointed uh, a manual tactic for one of this army. And also, if you get a disorder, I will point out if you get a disorder, um, Tome, when Wu Man has 100 intelligence, it'd be brilliant on him. So that's worth considering. I don't think I actually have one, so just to point out to you uh, who's an officer who doesn't have disorder, Wang Yuying. I don't actually have it, unfortunately. You don't get many of those in uh, the Shu province or the Jing province, they're mostly in the north. If we can see here, 6,000 against 20 and Simi Yi is not a bad unit. They have not deployed on formation, sadly. But Wu Meng can go toe to toe. So even more so when everyone arrives in the right order. There we are, you can see the damage has gone down to 4 Wu Mang. We'll soon be up to about 1500. Yeah, 1500. Ganning isn't going to last long, unless a tactic happens, and or a duel! And he's going to run away. Can't really blame him. So what we do, we follow suit and chase because you know you would be another nice officer to acquire for our forces. But we took 11,000 troops off of him and we lost 100, 150, 250, call it um, 600. Yeah, we lost 600 troops and we did just under 11,000 in damage. So we'll finish this off. And then I'll switch back over to... Oh, what I've done there is well, I've carried up more trading in order to get uh, more Asura Formation Tones. There we are, you can defend against impossible odds with the right officer combination. This is why I want Uman to stick around. So what we're going to do here... In position. And I'll have Ganning attempt to cut the guy off. 
Very tough guys. I'm not going to continue with um, this for the rest of the series as you have what just you watched me fight this exact war only as Liu Biao instead of... Huh. Can you challenge him to attack? Jin's gonna lose that. Yeah, that was um, strange. You have watched me just fight this the almost exact war. Oh yeah. Come on, Ganon. There we are. Get him off. So anyway, I'm getting distracted. What I meant to say is you have watched me just fight this almost exact war with Liu Biao. So I won't do it all over again. If you want to see. Smaller Jin province faction versus a large Sao Sao faction. That is the one for you, but I did want to... Oh, not even quite in formation yet. I did want to demonstrate the potential of this army. And the reason I haven't appointed any of these overseers as I am, I'm not continuing, planning to continue this. There we are. There goes General Yao. Yeah. Okay, maybe... Maybe I will demonstrate this. Destroying Chang Liang. officers starting to die of old age as it happens as you approach the state. What are we, 219 now? 218. So we've got a good two years left to make use of all of these officers, but... Oh, what's happening here? Ah, he's still alive and still free. All of these officers have lost loyalty. Has Sao Sao died? No, that's... You don't usually see this. Might as well try and hire a few. They are terribly disloyal at the moment. <laughs> Look at that. Or maybe Sao Sao got the loyalty hit when the alliance broke because of officers. Oh. oh, now he's moved in. Never mind. Yeah, so it seems like Sao Sao took a massive loyalty hit. But either way, are we all linked up now with the... Um... Yeah, 1900 defense, 1300 assault. That is with the 40 negative traits triggering because the Yan only has 3000 troops here. And not only is this army you know, reasonably okay, it's not top tier, but it's it's good enough. But it leaves up Guan Yu, it leaves up Zhao Yun, it leaves up um, all of these officers here. Wei Yan, Guan Ping, Guan Jing, Zhang Bao, Guan Suo. I mean, looking at Huang Chong, looking at this here. Guan Yin Ping, of course. So what I can do, I can go meet this assault head on. Oh, I think I need a bit more goose formation officers. Guess that makes Jerry in the backliner. Not often you see that, but there we are. So how we, like we did in the last horse, how we de how we deploy against this? Guan Yu on one flank, Guan Guan Ping on the other, Guan Suo on the other. No, Guan Suo will be on the flank there. He has reckless. He'll charge in anyway. Guan Yin Ping, Zhao Yun. In reserve, Guan Jing in reserve, and Zhang Bao. No, we'll even have Zhang Bao go join Zhang Fei. Guan Yun Chang, so we are more than okay in this regard. In fact, do we have any Nan Man units here? Yes, 
for you. So I can even send Mangua over up onto the mountain to take this out. So we've got Salven in defense there. But we do have Ma we do have Mengdar to bring his morale back up. So even at low morale, he has a tremendous amount. A truly tremendous amount. Of defense. He can really take a beating, and if I had given him an appropriate amount of troops, he would have been far, far stronger. So Chang Fei just needs to get Sauron into a duel. Doesn't look like he's going to. But anyway, I'm not really playing properly at this point. I just want to show how as soon as you've conquered Liu Bei, you've got so many options for different armies. Zhang Liao that he, he simply cannot take the city. So if I deploy Wu Meng, Ganning, Wu Su, Ling Tong, Sun Jiao again. And then where is she? Sun Shi. Sh yeah. Well, um, the archers only need a thousand. Give the front line is three thousand. That's scanning and oh no, better not. Leave some troops in the city. So I've a man deploy out here. Scanning is going to deploy here. And try to surround the city. Lucy is going to come out here. Wu Jun in theory will come out here. As will Sun Jaya, Sun Shi. And we'll see how well this works in theory. Taking an absolute hammering. Okay, Ganning got intercepted, not ideal. Random officers are having their lifespan extended, it's never the ones you want. But you can see here, we're just not really under any threat at all. Wu Jun's trait doing quite a lot of work there, Wu Man being incredibly strong in general. And it's a walk in the park. So I, I am just going to leave it here, unless there's a lot of demand and you really want me to see, we really want to see me fight Sao Sao yet again. I think this is a nice place to leave it. You secured yourself at this point as the strongest force. You may only have half as many troops as Sao Sao have, but you know, what does that matter really in the grand scope of things?
I always have fun playing Liu Chang, and it's even more fun when you end up with a sort of final boss like Cao Cao in this in this position with all the best officers that you have to play with, and you even get to factor in many of them dying of old age over the next couple of years, which helps you sort of change things up. So. I hope you find this helpful, and by all means give Liu Chang a play yourself if you haven't, and if you really want me to, well if you really want to see me play this a little bit longer, I'll make maybe one more bonus episode, but if not, I'll uh, move on to the next one. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, I've certainly enjoyed recording this series, and I will see you in the next one hopefully.